Hey YouTube, welcome to part three of making my own bricks. As you saw in part two, um, we uh, made the uh, Lego. Well, actually, we saw in part one, we cut off the bricks, obviously. See all those? Let's see, move that over there a little bit. Let's get this all in the frame here. There we go. So we got all these bricks cut out. We made this uh, roughly, we're not doing it exact, we're making it rough. Um, you can see right here that I'm gluing in all of the bricks. And we're only going to pour this probably maybe halfway of the uh, Legos. So that's probably, well, I'd say a quarter of an inch. So it won't be that thick. We need some uh, hardcore, uh, or not hardcore, but some harder silicone. Since this is not going to be a lot of details, it's basically blocks. And I am using uh, Ambroid Pro Weld Professional, Pla Professional Plastic Welder. Uh, good for styrene, uh, butyrate, ABS, acrylic, lucite, and plexiglass. So we got everything right here. We got some uh, plexiglass and some styrene. And this is something really simple. Like I said, I'm not doing it exact, but we're having some kind of uniformity to it. I'm just taking the uh, brush here and just kind of even just to make it easier, just putting a little dab on the uh, acrylic itself and then uh, setting that down and just getting another dip. And just like I said, I've tried to do about six per uh, inch. And these aren't exact, but we'll see. Make sure to keep away from that edge as much as possible. So we want to have a nice edge to have some uh, sturdiness to it. But like I said, we'll be using some uh, thicker plexiglass, or not plexiglass, thicker silicone. So it'll hold a good shape to it. Looks like I got maybe an eighth of an inch uh, measurement between each of these. And with this stuff, you gotta be fast with this glue kind of goes, uh, dries, sets very quickly. So that one might not sit. Oh yeah, well, we're good. So um, I'm just gonna finish this up. This is gonna be very tedious. I'm not gonna speed it up and show you how I put each and every brick down. That's ridiculous. Uh, we're probably after this, we'll go in and we will uh, run probably just a bead of um, hot glue around each side. And I'll show you that on camera, obviously. And then we'll be going into mixing silicone and uh, that'll be a whole thing in its own. So um, this will be the mold, making that master mold part three. And uh, we'll show you what I'm doing now. And plus I'll come in and glue it. And then we'll go in and start mixing up silicone, probably degas it in the vacuum chamber and throw it in here and also pressurize it. So make sure we get to no bubbles in it, which is probably with bricks doesn't matter, but still just uh, for, um, for fun show you uh, the whole process of how we do this and um, get some ideas and uh, maybe get some inspiration from of your own. So I will see you in a few. I will uh, see you in the next video. Thanks again. Welcome back to part three and we're going to finish the master mold. I just glued down all 96 pieces. There's the four left from the original 100. I cut out. Here's the Lego um, wall set that I said I was um, using as the uh, part to put the silicone in. I got a quick little um, cheap little hot glue gun and hot glue is not permanent. It'll make a really good beveled edge and it'll prevent the silicone from running out. We might get a little bit of flashing on the inside of the mold but that'll be no problem. We'll just tear that off. It'll be paper thin and this will be a nice solid bond but temporary. It'll peel off real easily. I'll show you and we'll get to that part of the, the series. And ow. Yeah, free. try not to touch the glue. It's very it's molten hot. <laughs> and that is it. We have a mold ready to go. Um, starting in part four, we'll mix up the silicone, degas it, and we'll pour it in here. And then I'm probably going to put it in a uh, pressure chamber get all the bubbles out of it so we get nice nice clean uh, castings and like I said we will go from that it'll be part five we actually do the casting of the dental plaster with uh, pigment in it so it'll have, give it a full color all the way through it won't be that cheap uh, white if you chip it and that'll be it so as usual thank you for joining me and we'll see you in the next part thanks again